Hey guys and girls, this is Tim and I'm going to show you how to uh, capitalize on the search traffic of your competition, how to find what keywords they rank for, uh, how to pick the best ones and all sorts of stuff. So we are going to continue with one of the keywords, one of the seed keywords from my article, uh, gifts for music lovers, and I see that the top search results are basically article from BuzzFeed, a list article, then list article from Business Insider. Uh, these sites are clearly uh, not in the niche of gifts, but here at the uh, position number three, I see uncommongoods.com. Basically, the name of the website alone suggests that this is a website in the gifts niche, uh, not necessarily gifts for music lovers niche, but uh, for the sake of the tutorial, it will be okay. Let's put it into hrefs and see what keywords they rank for. So I go to Site Explorer, I put their domain name, hit enter, and the report that I'm interested in is Organic Keywords Report, where I, where I see the breakdown of all the keywords that they rank for in organic search results. And from here, I have quite a bunch of filters. For example, I can immediately uh, filter the keywords where they rank for in position from 1 to 5. Then I can focus, for example, on keyword difficulty of up to 20, which would be fairly easy keywords to rank for. And finally, for example, I want to focus on keywords that have from 3,000 to 5,000 visitors per month. And rather quickly, I was able to go from a super large list of keywords that this website is ranking for to a fairly small list of quite interesting keywords. For example, beer gifts or gifts for dog lovers. Yeah, uh, I'm not really interested in that niche, so it's hard to pick uh, something for me. But I'm sure if you do this with your own competitors and apply a few filters and see this way what they rank for, you're going to find a lot of interesting keywords that you weren't uh, thinking of otherwise. But the cool part is actually not researching the individual keywords of your competitors, but taking the advantage of top pages report in hrefs. Uh, so, for example, this, this page... Uh, ranks for over 2,000 different keywords and it brings all uh, over 80,000 visitors per month and Ahrefs is underestimating traffic so I'm sure they're getting even more and for example if I expand the keywords uh, that uh, page number three ranks for I can see that they this page ranks for gifts for mom at position number one and then Christmas gifts for one mom at position number three. So basically with the same page uh, I can target a ton of related keywords, gifts ID, gift ideas for mom, best gifts for mom, birthday gifts for mom, like everything is, uh, every, every one of these keywords is dominated by a single page and it brings in a ton of traffic. But since I was trying to focus on the industry of uh, gifts for music lovers, I can just put in the keyword music here and it will filter all the pages that contain the word music in them. And there are quite a few of them. And I can see, for example, this page is bringing in some nice traffic. Uh, but the other pages are not that popular. But still, I think uh, I could do a niche-specific site with gifts for music lovers. And there would be enough search queries for me to target. So this is a quick overview of how you research the organic keywords of your competition. And the top pages that bring them traffic along with the keywords that these top pages are ranking for. But then once you have finished researching your competitor, you probably need more. And for that, we have a cool report called Competing Domains, which basically shows uh, other websites that are ranking for the same keywords that your target website that you have ent entered into HRFs is ranking for. And here on these little visual graphs, you can see how many unique keywords uh, this website has, how many common keywords are between this website and uh, your target website and how many unique keywords your competitor has. So all you need to do here is just skim through the list and uh, open some domains that seem promising. For example, this Dodo Bird website uh, is clearly something interesting. I can see that this is not uh, an e-commerce shop. It's actually a website with reviews of different products and affiliate links to, to Amazon as far as I can see. So what I can do is research this domain next, uh, see which keywords they rank for, apply some filters to get some nice insights, go to their top pages to see which pages bring them the most traffic from search and which keywords these pages are ranking for. And again, I see a page uh, 
uh, with gifts for women, which ranks basically for all the same search queries, but a little lower than the previous website. And then once I'm done researching this website, I can go to competing domains again and look for some other interesting websites uh, in the same niche. And here's another interesting one. This is why I'm broke. Again, I can see that this is not an e-commerce store, but it's actually a site with reviews of products uh, with links to Amazon. So they're making some affiliate income. So as you can see, just by starting with kind of a general keyword gifts for music lovers and going down the competitor research <laughs> black hole, uh, I was able to discover two cool sites that are not actually e-commerce stores, but uh, they review products linked to Amazon and I'm sure they make some decent money. And I could go on again and again uh, looking at the competing domain section and discovering more and more sites like them and then tapping into the uh, best pages that are bringing them traffic, looking at their best keywords and replicating that on my own website. And this way you can get tons of great keyword ideas. And as you can see, probably I shouldn't limit myself to just uh, music lovers niche, but actually I could go a little bit broader so that to get a little more traffic. And one amazing tool that I also wanted to show you is the content gap tool. What it can do, you can put a few websites of your competitors into these fields. Uh, and then in the last field, you put your own website and you can see which keywords all of your competitors are ranking for uh, at the same time, but your website is not ranking for them in organic search results. And here I already have entered uh, these websites that I found, dodobird.com, uh, this is why I'm broke.com, and I wanted to see which keywords both of these websites are ranking for, uh, but the website uncommongoods.com uh, is not ranking for, and the content gap tool gives me almost 600 keywords that both these websites are ranking for, but uncommongoods.com is not ranking for, which is basically a content gap opportunity and a great set of keywords that uncommongoods.com website could target uh, and get some nice relevant traffic to their website. I'm sure if you try using the content gap tool uh, with the websites of your own competitors and try to see which keywords all of them are ranking for, but your website is not ranking for, you will also discover lots of amazing keywords that you just have to target because your competitors are one step ahead of you. And that's it for researching organic search traffic of your competitors. Uh, good luck with your keyword research.